Hi, my name is Nathan Murphy and I'm a volunteer for O'Donnell Middle School in Ailey ISD. Uh, it has been such a blessing to work with Sewa and AmeriCorps these past couple months and support students and administrators and teachers uh, right now as we're all trying to figure out what education looks like in 2020. Um, every day I get to sit down and work one-on-one -on -one with students who most of the time are new immigrants to America are already dealing with culture shock, langu language barriers, and I get to be an emotional support. I get to be someone that they can look to not only for help as they try to figure out how to maneuver through the lesson, how to man maneuver through assignments, but also how to place themselves in this new culture that they, they find themselves in, in this crazy year that we all find ourselves in. Um, it has been so wonderful to make a difference, and I thank you, Sewa, I thank you, AmeriCorps. Serving at Ailey ISD as an AmeriCorps member has had a lot of meaning for me. Um, I have a really priceless opportunity to interact with a deserving student base and hopefully have a small impact on their journey through learning English. It's been a privilege to meet and work alongside with the other AmeriCorps members in my education cohort, as well as the employees and volunteers at Sewa International, and of course the amazing teachers and administration at Ollie Middle School in my host site. I wake up every day excited to go to my host site and see my teachers and the kids, and it's really just been a blessing for me. Hi, my name is Lizette Mora, and I'm the community liaison at the Villa Madrid Aspire Center. What I do is I try to build relationship with other organizations in the community and also try to build relationships with the student's family. And by building a relationship with the student's family, I can be seen as a source of help so they won't be afraid to ask me for help whenever they're having difficulty paying for their rent, food, or utilities. And also, hopefully, I can get them to be more involved with the Aspire Center. I decided to take on this role because I wanted to serve my community and I think this is a valuable learning experience where I can learn skills that will benefit me in the future when I become a physician assistant. Pues sí. Siento que la escuelita es un programa muy bueno para cada niño que asiste a la institución. Pues siento yo que, que por parte mía, pues mi niña eh, ha aprendido muchas cosas y creo que, que a mediado va pasando el tiempo, va, va a ir captando mejor. Entonces pues de mi parte yo como padre de, de mi hija estoy muy orgulloso y pues hay que echarle a, para adelante, hay que seguirlos apoyando en lo poco que nosotros podamos, pues, entiende. My name is Uwim and I am the community liaison's contact for the Los Arcos community. I started working with AmeriCorps in September of 2020 and I have enjoyed the flexibility that this opportunity offers. I, um, I enjoy doing uh, fundraising for the community. I'm getting to know the parents and the kids. I particularly love going to the center and hanging out with the kids uh, when they're doing their homework, uh, playing on the computer and just playing with one another. That has been one of the highlights of my experience. And I love the team members in AmeriCorps and I also love the Aspera Center team members. It's been a great experience so far. Save AmeriCorps program this year. What does serving in AmeriCorps disaster case management training mean to us? It means that it gives us a great way to reach out to the community members prior to disaster to help them understand the importance of disaster and teamwork. When disaster does strike, coming together to serve others allows everyone to succeed in the goal of empowering and guiding survivors. 
Volunteering as a disaster case manager and training others to do so is a great way for us to pass on the knowledge to people who are willing to work with survivors. Houston is frequently undergoing disasters of all kinds, from a typical house fire to Hurricane Harvey, and being ready to empower those survivors out of such challenging times is an amazing way to give back to our own community. Few of us in the Disaster Services team work on creating awareness and disaster preparedness. I would like to thank Siva for coming up with such programs that can help people better face disasters. I think uh, for me the best part of service is getting to learn and share information that can save lives. I'm really grateful for this opportunity and thank you Siva. Hi, I'm Ashwari and I'm part of the Disaster Preparedness Outreach Team. Uh, my job mainly consists of reaching out to communities and educating them along with myself on how to be as prepared as possible for any kind of disaster, whether it's a medical disaster like what we're experiencing now with COVID or hurricanes, floods and fires. Um, it's been such a great experience for me and I've loved learning all of this information and helping my community and giving back to the community that has given me so much over the past few years. Um, and I want to thank Seva International and AmeriCorps for giving me this opportunity and I'd love to come back and do this again if possible.